are several hundred parents in D.C. scrambling to get their kids vaccinated or else they won't be allowed in the classroom. We're already seeing students being turned away from instruction if they don't have their shots. Fox 5's Nana St. Ubonsu live tonight with those details. Nana? Jim and Marina, good evening. It's called No Shot, No School. It's as straightforward as it sounds. It's D.C. Public Schools' response to students who aren't up to date with their shots. I think I kind of worry about kids' health and safety in schools. This mother is trying to stay on top of the vaccination requirements for her little ones, especially her son, who is in kindergarten. He got a shot earlier this year. So she's good to go, but there are dozens of D.C. public school students who were turned away from class this week for missing immunizations. Now we're seeing a little rush uh, as families uh, realize that the school districts and, and health department were serious this year um, and started excluding people on Monday. Dr. Nathaniel Beers is the executive vice president of community and population health at Children's National. The hospital is working with the school district to give students their shots. We had over 200 kids come out to the mobile uh, unit at the ARC uh, on Saturday. And we saw over 130 kids both Monday night uh, um, after 5 p.m. as well as Tuesday night after 5 p.m. Dr. Beer says the pandemic caused a number of students to miss early childhood vaccines and booster doses for some teens. The school district tells Fox 5 that they sent families a number of notices, including this one that says, if the school does not receive proper immunization documentation, your child will temporarily be excluded from school beginning December 4th. In a statement from the office of the state superintendent, they tell us that the law requires all students, including private schools, to be fully compliant with required vaccinations to attend school. The goal is to make sure that the number of kids in schools uh, that are vaccinated is adequate to prevent the spread of preventable childhood illnesses in schools. Now, on your screen are a list of the required vaccines for D.C. public schools, including polio, chickenpox, hepatitis, and HPV. It is important to note that the COVID-19 vaccine is not on the list. The flu vaccine isn't on the list as well, but doctors say this is a great time to get that shot for your children. They're already seeing an increase in flu cases, especially with children. Guys? For the third time,